join us and discover beautiful beaches, rugged landscapes, pretty towns, desolate mountain ranges that sweep down to stunning lakes, unique architecture, history and folklore, no shamrocks, no shillelaghs and definitely no shenanigans, just make it Ireland. Today we're taking a brief look at the latest development in public transport in the city of Belfast. It's called the Glider and I'm in the East Belfast suburb of Dundonald, waiting on what's called the G1 service. There's a very easy to operate ticket machine at all the stops, making payments simple, and this journey, which could take me right across the city, east to west, has cost me £2.20. McKinstry Road, that's the final terminus in the west of the city on the Stewartstown Road, and the service starts over here in the eastern suburb of Belfast at Dundonald Park and Ride facility, not far from here. And there's one of the gliders on the other side of the road, recognisable by its covered wheels and articulation in the middle. It's essentially in two parts and 18 metres long in total. And here's our bus coming now. They have three doors making it quite a bit easier to get on board compared to a normal bus and once inside they look quite bright and airy with various arrangements of seating. And this is the articulation point where essentially the two parts are coupled. The connectivity of the east and west of the city is quite a development for Belfast believe it or not the east and west of the city traditionally being made up of different religious and political communities. As you can see it's not only geographic connectivity that's on offer but digital too with Wi-Fi connections and USB ports. We're just passing the Stormont Estate now so I guess you could even use these buses for a bit of sightseeing. This G1 service has buses arriving at stops at 7 to 9 minute intervals or 4 to 6 minute at peak times and the service operates from just after 5am to just after 11pm on weekdays. The other G2 route operates from the Titanic quarter and then loops through the centre of the town. In total there's 24.5 kilometres of route coverage. They move quite swiftly through the traffic due to the dedicated bus lanes which are in operation from 7am to 7pm Monday to Saturday. There are next stop announcements and a helpful route map is displayed in the bus. We're just passing through the newly fashionable Ballyhackamore area of Belfast now with its pubs and restaurants, it even has a jazz club. So what did it all cost, this fancy bus system? Well, a hundred million pounds of public funds. Is it worth it? Yeah, I think maybe it is, though I still feel slightly cheated that we haven't got a tram network. After all, these are diesel hybrid vehicles, so although they're reputed to be low pollution, they're not fully electric. And don't think because there's no conductor that you can just bounce on without paying. These inspectors got on while I was filming and checked everyone's ticket. This BRT or Bus Rapid Transport System as it's called started in 2018 and there are already plans for extensions to the lines to the north and south of the city. We're turning onto the Albert Bridge Road now and we'll soon be entering the city centre. I hope this film's been useful to you, if so please give it a like and please don't forget as we cross the river Lagan here into the city centre to subscribe to the channel so as to encourage more videos. I'm getting off here in the markets area and I'll see you in the next Naked Ireland video.